Yeah. All right, Douglas here from inside Blackberry, and I'm talking with Eric about Zobni, which is a product really near and dear to my heart. And we're going to explain to you exactly what Zobni is and uh, when it's going to be available for Blackberry smartphones. All right, Eric. Thanks, Douglas. So let me tell you a little bit about Zobni. First, Zobni is the word inbox spelled backwards, just in case you have trouble remembering it. What Zobni does right now is it's inside of Microsoft Outlook. You can download it for free at Zobni.com. Once you've downloaded it, Zobni actually indexes the entire PST file. So basically anything that's in your inbox. It doesn't matter whether it's in a file folder or uh, over in the archived items or over in the, uh, the inbox. Once it's done that, it's going to build a profile around every individual email address that's inside your inbox. And that profile is going to contain a couple of things. All right, so, so let's zoom in on our profile. That profile is going to contain information, which obviously we now know the person's email address and their name. We can extract information out of the signature line as well as uh, the email thread that will give us a person's phone number. We also pull data based on the email address off of third-party networks like LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. So if you want to find that person's you know, profile information, you can kind of get the latest and greatest. You can also get company information. If it comes from a company based on the corporate domain, you'll have the Hoover's profile. So pretty much their entire social and professional presence all in one little spot. Absolutely. So we also have a whole bunch of interesting data here that talks about the uh, uh, patterns of your email traffic with this individual person. So Frank, who's our VP of engineering, actually... You know, it's number six in terms of the person I communicate with most frequently based on email. Looks like I send him a heck of a lot more email than he responds back to me, which general nature of engineering and business development. Okay, and that's really important, right? Because you have so many emails with him that Zobni is going to be a great way to kind of like find specific conversation threads or... Yeah, the rank is actually very relevant because, you know, when you have hundreds if not thousands of contacts, understanding the relevancy yeah. of those contacts, if I know 10 people named Frank, it's very important for me to understand which Frank is the most relevant in terms of what I want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Ranking people or, or listing people alphabetically, you know, really is just a very inefficient way of doing it. I want to be able to know Frank... Uh, in terms of the person, the Frank that's most relevant to me, and the other nine or ten Franks that may be in my inbox should fall beneath me. So now that I'm down here, the profile also gives me a summary of all my communication with Frank over the past history of my entire inbox. Now that I have that, I've got access to any and every email conversation Frank and I have ever exchanged. It groups it by thread so I can actually you know, highlight on it and dig in a little more deeply if I'd like. It gives me access to anyone and everyone that's been on the two or the CC line for every email we've ever exchanged. If I want to click, I can go straight into that person's profile. And it also shows me any and every attachment. Which is my personal favorite because I can never find files Absolutely. in Outlook with that's yep. on me. Totally. So, gives you access to every attachment you've ever exchanged when you kind of highlight over it. It's actually going to show you what email that it came from, which is also a quick and easy way for having to open and close emails and find out where that attachment came from. So let me walk you through a very typical scenario. So let's say Scott Miller from Skype calls me and he's asking me about some usage data. And I know it's in a report that I sent him, but I can't remember what I called it, when I sent it, mm -hmm. who else was on the email. Well, I just simply start to type in Scott into Zobby. Zombie does a couple things. If we go back to the rank, first of all, it's going to show me that I have 48 Scots that I've ever communicated with. But when we go back to that rank, it's already ranked all the Scots for me based on the frequency and volume of communication. So Scott Miller actually ranks number two. So now that I'm in there, and I again have access to all this other information, every email we've ever exchanged, every person that's been on the two or the CC line, really helpful when I can't remember, you know, who's that person that's been on that email thread or that I need to find the name of that guy in the marketing team that was on that call we had. But now I can go in and I can look at all the attachments Scott and I've ever exchanged. And I think I called the file usage data reports. Before I even type in usage, it shows me that I've sent them actually three files. I'm gonna hover over one of them, see if that's the email that I'm looking for, and that indeed is the file. I can go ahead and click on it and open it up. It took me just a few seconds to actually find an attachment that was buried from, you know, February or April of 2009. That could have taken me 10 or 15 minutes to kind of dig through to find that information. So again, Zobby's built all these profiles. A typical inbox has anywhere from 5 to 10 times, some as much as 15 to 20 times the number of individual contacts in the inbox as it does in the contact list or the address book. But the problem is you got to unlock that information. So wouldn't it be great if you're actually able to take that information, make it available on your device? Excellent transition. So now that we've got this, again, I open up the Zobni application and I've got all these profiles from about 1,300 different people. I don't have 1,300 people in my address book. I have probably about five or 600, and easily 50 to 60% of those are outdated information. So now I can scroll through, and again, these are ranked based on, on frequency and, and relevancy to me, not in alphabetical order. 
So I could click on Michael, for example. Michael isn't in my address book, even though he's a coworker of mine, because Sabney's pulled together all of his information for me. So I've got his picture, I've got his title, I've got both his personal and professional email address, I've got his phone number, I've got a history of all of our communication. Again, I uh, can can click on uh, uh, you know another profile and pull that up. But the real magic comes when uh, I'm in a situation where let's say I need to email Mike Kirk up from Rim. So now I'm going to go Director in. of Development Support. Absolutely. So Mike is someone that I've emailed with quite frequently, but I've never taken the time to add Mike to my contact list. So I'm going to start to type in Mike, Mountain About. I've got a lot of Mikes in my address book, but Mike Kirkup isn't here, which is super frustrating because I probably sent the guy 300 emails in response to all of them, by the way. So now I can go in, simply flick up on the trackball or on the, the uh, uh, trackpad. And I can find him one of a couple ways. I can find him by typing in his name. There's Mike. Of the Mikes that the people that I know named Kirkup or close to KI, he's going to rank number one. Well, let's say that as long as I'm going to send that email to Mike, I'm going to go ahead and copy a couple other people from RIM. So I'm going to go ahead and add Mike. We'll add Brad Hanna from the Alliances team. And we'll add Kerry from the events marketing team. So now you notice that I've actually added all of them, one, two, and three there. If I wanted to go back and deselect, I could do that by going over and hitting edit recipients. Now those people who are not in my address book, but I've emailed with, you know, tons of times, are now all added to the email. This is a complete contact list. It's 100% coverage of anyone I've ever communicated with. It's all up to date. I haven't had to do anything. You can get all more information about the, Z the BlackBerry application at zobni.com. That's X-O-B-N-I, inbox spell backwards, slash BlackBerry. Go download the application off our site at zobni.com. Thank you so much for your time. Cool.